everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. Joining me now is an Academy Award-nominated actress you know from Frida, Puss in Boots, and Like a Boss. Her latest film is Bliss. Please welcome Selma Hayek. Selma, good to see you again. So lovely to see you. Now, I, I know you're not on the East Coast of the United States right now. You're in London. Is that, is that true? That's right, yes. But you haven't missed out on the big snow. London doesn't get a lot of snow normally, but you guys got a pretty good, snow, pretty good snowfall yes. recently. Yes, yes. And this is you out there with your pets. You posted this. Exactly. As, I did not realize that Bernie Sanders was one of your pets. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know, he, he, he's everywhere. Now, the minute you least expect it, he appears. Um, how, many, how many pets do you have? I, I know you love animals. I love animals. I have a lot of them. In, in London, I have three, two dogs and one owl. The owl is there with the dogs. Where, the owl? Where is the owl? Oh, my God. Go back to that. I'm sorry, Jim. I didn't even see it. Right up, that right there. I don't know if you can go in any closer, but that right there is an owl. Do you, are you a student at Hogwarts? I only associate, the only people I know who have owls are using them to deliver mail. What's the owl's name? Caring. Caring? Caring. Caring. Is this, I think I've been told, is this what this is? And <laughs> I've held an owl before. What people don't understand, which you do, is that there's not a lot of bird there. They're actually mostly fluffy. They're actually a very, they're very actually yes. thin little birds. Yes. Now, yes. why do you have an owl, Selma Hayek? I don't know, I became obsessed with the owls and dreaming about it, and I, I, I didn't understand. They were everywhere, and I said, can you even, is there, can people have owls? And it turns out that you can in London, it's legal. And I said, are there any owls that need some rescue? Can you rescue an owl? And I started doing some research, and uh, yeah, sure enough. What's happening okay. in this photo, it's please? It's disgusting. He never, it's the only time he's ever done that. I mean, he's, she's amazing, because it's a female, but you know, sometimes they bring you gifts that you don't necessarily know what to do with. What is that? It's, it's a mouse, that's what they eat. And, he, and she ate it on your head? He land, she, yeah, she landed on my head with it. And I, I, I got her off, because that, that's where I draw the line. She does sleep in my room sometimes. So, uh, um, how do you wait? How do you sleep? Owls are awake at night. How exactly. Do you, how do you, do, are you just up all night with them, or are you just the the who? Just I'm a, soothing. I'm a, yeah, I, I don't. I like. I don't sleep much. But sometimes when I sleep, she just flies around. I just feel the wind as she passes. Sometimes she lands on my leg, on my head. At the beginning, it was scary, but um, now I'm used to it. And and she just like kind of stays with me sometimes for a little bit, and then flies again. So she's free in the room. Well, obviously, this owl can get, can, she can feed herself. She can get her own mice. Is, yes. What, are there any challenges to caring for mice? So, like, do you have to put out fresh you, water you for can them? Or? You actually order them and, and freeze them. The mice? And that, yeah, and you know, they don't, they don't drink any water. They get all their food and their, and their liquids from, from the owl. This, this owl is, is strange. Usually, they're not very social. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a relationship with the owl. Another thing that is strange is that, like I said, they don't drink liquids, but there is one kind of wine that when we take it out, it's an expensive wine too, not, not the other wine. We have to cover the, the, the cups because she'll dig in it. That and it's not that she thinks it's blood because the other red wine she doesn't go for. She has an expensive taste in wine. Wow, I know. Does it ever get tanked? Does the owl ever have a little bit too no, much wine? No, I, I don't let him drink my... No, I, we, we protect the wine. Or we don't have the owl in the room because she goes for it. Now, you have a 13-year-old uh, daughter. Does, she, does yes. she like the owl? Is anybody afraid of the owl? Is she okay with it? She doesn't like the owl. There's a lot of people in the house that don't like the owl. It, and, and also, she's very quiet, and you don't know she's there, and then she just flies, and everybody screams. And I love it when they scream. Isn't it, some, isn't it fantastic to see the reaction of people when they are afraid of something that is not going to harm them? I'm a big fan, but you sound like a difficult roommate. <laughs> you should talk to my husband. What about, what about raising a teenager? Like, that's a challenge now. They have a 13-year-old. Were you, does she take after you? Were, were you, were you a challenge as a teenager? Um, not, 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 not so much. Um, 
She, she, she's amazing, but she's very opinionated. Uh, you know, teenagers change all the time, but two things are consistent. Stevie Nicks and uh, Fleetwood Mac and Lana Del Rey. But right now she's a lot into, cos you know, cosmetics and perfumes and makeup. Sure. And I wasn't like that when I was 13. Well, you couldn't. At all. Um, you couldn't. I've got a photo here proving that you couldn't do that because... <laughs> You, they shipped you off to a nunnery. You went to a convent school. You went to Grand Cateau, right? That's right, Grand Cateau, Louisiana. And I was a prankster, but not, not to ba very bad things, just funny things, like scaring people with an owl. Like, um, just, you know, all the girls would really annoy me because they would wake up two hours before you know, that you have to go to school to do the rollers and the makeup, you know? And I wasn't into that, like my daughter at that time. And and they would wake me up, and I only wanted to wake up five minutes before it was time to go. So one time, I put all the alarm clocks at four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and there they were, getting all, you know, putting the hot rollers at 13. Why? It's, it's all for girls. Who's going to see you? Why are you doing that? There's no boys in there. And I was laughing in my bed. Now, uh, you, look, you look like you're a little bit of trouble in this photo. You look, that, that, that expression looks, I have something planned. <laughs> Were you yeah. shipped off to a convent school uh, for your own good or merely for the religious education? Because no, I, was th I, I was threatened to. with like, I was threatened with boarding school and military school and stuff like that because I was, I was a real handful. Why did they ship you off? They didn't ship me off. I shipped myself off because oh. I was living in a small town in Mexico called Coatzacoalcos, Veracruz, and I was as bored as you can get. So I wanted to go somewhere. I wanted to have this adventure uh, in another country, in another language. In, in a, you know, they let me go because it was a Catholic school, but I actually chose it. Oh, wow. That's pretty adventurous. Yeah. So tell me about the new movie, Bliss. So Bliss is like a sci-fi movie, and I play two characters. Um, it's the same character in two parallel lives. I am a scientist that lives in the Bliss world where everything is perfect and beautiful, but people have lost appreciation for everything. So I create this brain box that creates a simulation where we can go to an ugly world with challenges so that we can come back and appreciate what we have. Are, are we in the ugly world or are we in the bliss world? Yes, uh, the ugly world looks like the ugly world in the movie. However, once they put us in lockdown, I think we started appreciating all the things we took for granted about this ugly world. We, we have a clip here. It's you and Owen Wilson. Do you know? Can That's you tell right. Us, what do we need to know about this? Well, um, it talks a little bit about uh, why I did the, the, the brain box, why I did this machine that is going to send us to the to the ugly world. Jim. Most people say ignorance is bliss. But I say, you have to experience the good to appreciate the bad. And not the other way around. Exactly. So that's where the brain box comes from. You really mean that? Yes. You really think it works? Look at me. <sighs> I'm sitting here. I couldn't be more. I couldn't be more grateful. Well, Salma, thank you so much for being here. It was lovely to see you again. It's always seeing you. Thank you. Bliss is available this Friday on Amazon. Salma Hayek, everybody. We'll be right back with journalist and author of the new biography, Mike Nichols, A Life, Mark Harris. Stick around.